Hill. Right now, I am the interim principal at Wilson Early Childhood Center. I have always wanted to be a teacher. I played school when I was little, like a lot of teachers. Always wanted to do it. I started at Mount Olive and did, I taught there for seven years. And then I taught in Blue Jacket first grade for six years. And then I came to Miami and was a teacher at Roosevelt uh, for four years before I became an instructional coach. Um, after that, I've been several things. Instructional coach, director of professional learning, um, director of secondary education, and now interim at Wilson. I remember all of my teachers. Um, they were all my role models. I like the kids. I want to be their advocate, whether it's a five-year-old or a 17-year-old. I'm I want to be their cheerleader. For some kids, a high school diploma is not enough to keep them showing up. And so how, is it athletics? Is that what will keep you showing up? Then I'm going to go to all your games. <laughs> is it um, a speech tournament? If that will keep you showing up, then I'm going to cheer you on in the, in, at your tournament. I, I just want them to, to get in there and do it and make it happen. Prove that they can be successful in anything they choose to be. What does it mean to be a war dog? Um, all the things that I can say are the same traits that Angie had. The grit, the stamina, the determination, the love of kids, and just wanting them to, to be their best and do their best. When I was doing my student teaching, I was in pitcher. <laughs> That's where I chose to go. And Kim Pace was the principal there. And she, wrote a little card when I was when I was finished and, and leaving that said God doesn't. qualifies the called he doesn't call the qualified and um, I think about that and I think about um, what Angie Douthat was called to do and all the things that she did and this truly is a calling because if you don't if you weren't called to do it if you don't love it and your heart is just not in it and you're not passionate about it, but um, I really am and I think all of that sums up what it means to be a war dog.